tau overflows enlightenment far smaller than realization the word enlightenment is far smaller than its realization life is to live not to understand life is this very moment now here not yonder so is enlightenment live it be it be its fragrance but we waste precious moments in understanding what and how of it this way of living is the way of awakening know this the way of enlightenment when you are living not trying to understand there is no need to use big words because they are all deceptive enlightenment moksha salvation self realization christhood all great words which make you feel that your hands are very small and their reach is not that big and enlightenment seems to be a far away i start you cannot hope you cannot reach perhaps some gautam buddha and that too perhaps because who knows whether he was enlightened or just started telling people i am enlightened just like me how do you know i am enlightened or a person is enlightened except that i started one day saying i am enlightened and since that day not even a doubt has arisen in my mind just think it over are you really enlightened i have never looked at the fact again and whenever you ask i feel sad because i cannot do anything to make you enlightened except to shout in your ears you are it this is it it is really not away from you not separate from you it is in your heartbeat in your breaths in your consciousness in your very being reflects through your presence once you drop big words which scriptures and philosophers have invented and become simple and humble and look inside yourself it is there it is there pulsating it is in your laughter it is in your songs it is in your dances it is in your gestures nobody can give it to you and nobody can take it away from you either and there is no way to find it because you have not lost it in any way look into your life how is it has changed or has it changed or not has it really changed or and you are aware of it has it really changed or you are and you are aware of it that the change has taken place because there is no more dust you were always it and it was you but there was no one to make you realize this this is the role of the master it is there in your songs in your dances in your gestures in every movement it is there jesus says seek and ye shall find it i distract disagree with it diametrically i say do not seek if you seek you will never find it seek and you will not find it seeking keeps you away from finding it it is in the seeker itself it is like the deer 
that carries a particular substance that is a highly fragrant and the deer keeps on running all around in search of that but never finds it because he is looking everywhere outside but not inside. He is not aware that this smell is coming from deep within itself. Jesus says, ask and ye shall be given to you. Who is there to give it to you? And if it were something like a matter of begging, a God and who goes on hiding behind the clouds or somewhere in the stars like a thief, that is what all the religions are doing. Pray. It is not a question of asking. Do not ask. Just be silent. Feel it within. You are it. You are the answer. The answer is not going to come from anywhere else. Jesus says again, knock and the door shall be opened. I say unto you, the doors are always open. They were never closed. There is no point in knocking on an open door. And if you can knock, that means you are knocking on some wall. Because when the door is open, where are you going to knock? Can you knock in the empty space? No. In order to knock, you need a matter, a wall, a door. But the door is open. The door is open. I say to you, the door is open. Come right in. Enter in. The existence is all welcoming. There is no barrier. The whole existence is willing to be your host. Remember, you are enlightened anyways whether you accept it or not, whether your conditionings allow you to accept that you are enlightened, that does not matter. I accept you as enlightened. Even with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you can be, because I don't see that enlightenment can be disturbed by any girlfriend or boyfriend. Enlightenment has nothing to do with these things. Do you think your enlightenment is also punctured? There are people who do not know what they are doing. Both are denying that they are, they are, they are bargainers and they and both are bargainers and still both believe that bargaining is not happening. Such sleep is the only barrier and if you can call it a barrier, it is very thin. People don't see it, but they go on doing it and still they deny it. And they will not see that their denial is absurd. Why are you seeking enlightenment? When I say you are enlightened, just agree. What is the point of bargaining? You have come to this to the right place where you can get your enlightenment without any bargaining. Just a little intelligence is needed. A great rejoicing happens because with the disappearing there is no worry left. With the ego disappearing there is no anguish left. With ego disappearing there is no possibility of death anymore. This is what enlightenment is. It is the understanding that all is good, all is beautiful, and it is beautiful as it is. Everything is in tremendous harmony. There is oneness. A man who is enlightened, who has come to know who he is, who has forced, faced himself, he has no mask no character and no rules to follow. There is no need because each moment his consciousness is there and consciousness is always new and his actions arise out of his consciousness, not out of 
memory. Enlightenment is not something to be achieved. It is not something that you have to strive for, but rather your natural state without God, the world becomes accidental. There is no longer a creator. The mind has an intrinsic incapacity, incapacity to live with meaninglessness. Intrinsic incapacity to live with meaninglessness. So it decides to create frictions, different kinds of meaning through heavens, gods, afterlife. It all fulfills the psychological needs. The goal is an awakened one. The goal of an awakened one is to make your mind so mature that you can live with this meaninglessness. What is the meaning of the rose flower? What is the meaning of the sky? There is no meaning, just tremendous beauty, moment to moment, if you can live without reason, without meaning, just to breathe and to be, simply to be alive is enough. The more you become silent, the more and more attuned with existence, the more you realize that there does not need to be any meaning at all. Enlightenment is your nature. And this is more than enough, certainly enough. For the process of enlightenment, gain momentum. Osho specifically designed meditation to unburden the Western mind from its neurosis. In the preface, Osho outlines his theory about modern man, stating that he is burdened by so much unnecessarily baggage that basic meditation will not work for him. In the process of living, the natural innocence is lost. It is very simple mind. If a very, sim if a very simple mind, a childlike mind, sits to meditate, very soon it will glimpse the infinite. But if you ask a modern man to sit down and tell him to watch his thoughts, he will become confused, frustrated, and be pulled further to unconsciousness. The, his mind has to unburden and unburden of its unnecessary burden, garbage, baggage, to attain to childlike innocence consciously. The moment you attain to childlike consciousness, there, nothing else is needed. When Jesus was asked who can enter the kingdom of your father, he said one who is childlike. The childlike innocence is necessary. The word enlightenment emerged with Buddha and it is part of Zen. With Osho, the word enlightenment became common as each aspiring to realize this state of enlightenment. You begin with being present, staying conscious, watching the thinker, all different terms for the same non-thing. The process of meditation begins. With meditation, a challenge comes to look deeper within within one's own self, then you enter in the process of knowing who am I. You are entering deep within to know who am I. And like the layers of onion, you go on removing it until you reach the empty space. Enough for now.